Hello, and welcome to special coverage of the docking of the Calliope spacecraft to Titan Station. The docking is expected to take place within a few minutes as the spacecraft has now entered within the 2 km safe zone around the station. Most of the views that we have here are simulated views, and from this view you can just barely see Titan Station glimmering next to a star as the spacecraft approaches. We do expect to have in-cabin views and we'll attempt to switch to one now. And here we are. The view from inside the spacecraft. However, we will not be able to provide you with the view from Jebediah Kerman's position. Jebediah, of course, conducting the docking. Gene Kerman has expressly forbidden us from looking over Jeb's shoulder during this docking, so we will not be bringing you that view. Uh, that's not because Jeb gets nervous with an audience or anything like that. Uh, quite the contrary, he's one of the most self-confident individuals ever. Uh, the problem is that with an audience, Jeb is compelled to do daring and risky things. So we'll try and bring you views like from the station camera, which you see here. And the station camera just barely seeing the three dots that visible from behind that satellite dish. The three dots are the distinctive nighttime view of the Calliope spacecraft. Mission Control confirms that final checks have taken place and so there's nothing barring Jeb from doing the docking at this point. Uh, he is all lined up as we can see from the simulated view here. Ah, a brief loss of data for the simulation and we should get that back. Here we go. Not much information about the Kerbinauts has been released yet. Um, presumably they have earned degrees in engineering on Kerbin, but the space program won't even mention those degrees. Werner von Kerman has said that there is some concern that the areas of study for Kerbals will not be sufficiently respected in the human community. Uh, this has led to speculation that Kerbals major in subjects like boosters and perhaps minor in struts. Bill Kerman there checking on Jeb and how he's doing. Sounds like everything is good. Cultural differences should be respected though, and so we hope that the Kerbals will eventually feel free to tell us about themselves and, and the Kerbinauts. But for now, they remain somewhat of a mystery, as we see the spacecraft approaching within 200 meters of the station. We already know that uh, unlike human pilot certification which involves takeoff, landing, and the handling of various situations in between, Kerbal pilot certification is focused exclusively on the survival of the crew module, the cockpit, when the rest of the airframe is lost. Kerbals are acknowledged as experts in this area, proving of course that they have the right stuff. We see here the three lights of the of the Calliope spacecraft now very close to the station. Definitely within 30 meters now. It would be interesting to know afterwards what would be going through Jeb's mind. Uh, presumably a human pilot uh, conducting this docking would have numerous calculations busy trying to read his display and focusing on the details of the docking but we are completely unsure about Kerbal approaches to these things. Once docking occurs we will expect the crew to make their way into the the crew compartment of the station 
and at that point we will find out what they have decided to name the module. We already know that the research module on the opposite side of the station from which the Clive B spacecraft is docking, that uh, research module will be named the Scotty module. That uh, by insistence of Zephyrin Kerman, who uh, provided that module at uh, lower than expected expense. Clearly the final approach here. Uh, that was Jeb complaining about the lack of a forward view from his position and uh, emission control telling him to get over it. Jeb is of course using a, a camera view of the docking. He does not have uh, actual window to look out of to conduct this. Not that that would be the best view to have anyway. within two meters now. One meter. And that's the report that the mission is docked. The Calliope spacecraft has docked to Titan Station successfully. And the crew is now going to vacate the spacecraft. Jeb is going out first, and then Bill and Bob will join him through the through the docking port. And so we'll provide you with this exterior view, simulated view, of course, until the Kerbals make their way into the crew compartment. So far, everything uh, looks to be in excellent shape, as the crew has now reached Titan Station and can now make use of its extensive facilities. And here we see the crew and what they have decided to name the Kerbosity module. Uh, noting that the ISS station has modules named Unity, Harmony, Tranquility, things that humans value. And so they've decided to name it Kerbosity after the difficult to define quality of being Kerbal. So the Kerbosity module, other module names that were considered were the Booster module, the Unity module after the software engine used for all computer systems for Kerbals, uh, but that was already taken by the ISS. They also considered the Kirk module, but uh, they were afraid of any jokes about... So the Kerbasi module it is. And with that, we thank you for watching this special coverage of the Calliope spacecraft docking with the Titan station, and we hope to see you again next time. Again, thank you for watching.